Timberwolves look to take charge here at the Target Center in downtown Minneapolis. The Hornets would love to finish off this road trip on a good note. They haven't started out with the success they had hoped for, but the season obviously is still very young. Last break now for the Hornets. The finish, and Lamb slams it home. Great anticipation and awareness to come up. High expectations, and 33 and 49, just not good enough to get into the playoffs in any season. That ties the game. Captain Clutch has got himself going with the trip. Kaminsky dishes to Walker. And he's good on the three ball. Walker's got himself on the board. Let's start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking with an easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. They're coming into this game. This was a team, I thought, that did a really good job of taking advantage of their opportunity. Garnett with the block. Fires for three. And Nicholas Batum, the bucket on the assist from Hansborough. Batum kicks to Lamb. Here's Hansborough. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And the teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. And, and, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they'd come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a good look at it on the replay. The clock's still ticking when it left his fingertips. Turn the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Timberwolves lead by three, and we'll get it going after this from the Target Center. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We'll be taking a look back at the first half of basketball. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. They were able to squeeze ahead by the end of the period with just a one-point lead. The second quarter was a strong effort for them as they continued to battle, and they were able to close out the half in a good position. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? Well, they forced their way to some easy buckets, aggressively going to the rack, imposing their will. I mean, taking it inside establishes an attitude and toughness that you can't get any other way. Shaq, let's get your insight on Charlotte. Well, their poor rebounding is really hurting them. It hasn't killed them on the scoreboard yet, but they need to pick it up. This is a game they can win. If they come out hustling in the second half, they can win. Just about time for the third quarter to get underway, and we'll see you again at the Horn. And, and guys, one of the most beautiful things to watch in the NBA, when Kevin Martin gets hot with the jump. I mean, there are guys with range, and there are guys who dial it up. The D hasn't been able to keep up. Here's Captain Clutch. He's got 14. That one goes. Count it. And he's on his way to putting up right to the bucket for the easy do. Very, very well done. And really deep through that time. And that's now 20 points for Captain Clutch. He's jumped in for Charlotte. Captain Clutch comes in for Walker. Didn't think that was going to go in. 23 points for Captain Clutch. That's trail by 18. Or the three. That's good. That's a weapon they've been allowed to use at will today. Brown, a player can cover over the course of a season. And, and Nicholas Batum, always amongst the leaders, two seasons ago, he was a defender. Man, and I love that fearlessness, that aggressive attitude. Boy, I love watching guys play with that kind of abandon and freedom, Greg. It's a beautiful thing, man. And guys, as we all know, Kevin Garnett is one of the very best power forwards ever to play the game. I mean, was passed by Tim Duncan. 
And there's the pass to Captain Clutch. Here's Lamb. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And he doesn't really need two seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? You know, I think he's just trying to send his team a message. You know, not willing to give up on this game just yet. Just trying to instill that fight. Takes the three. Can't get it to go. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. They poured it out tonight, Clark. The dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.